Let us express the following numbers as product of the prime factors. 140 156 3825 5005 7429 Let us now see the solution of each of the given numbers. 140 as product of prime factors. 140 can be written as 2 into 70. 70 can be written as 2 into 35. 35 can be written as 5 into 7. Therefore, 140 is expressed as product of primes as follows. 140 equals 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 equals 2 square into 5 into 7. 156 as product of prime factors. 156 can be written as 2 into 78. 78 can be written as 2 into 39. 39 can be written as 3 into 13. Therefore, 156 expressed as product of primes as follows. 156 equals 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. Equals 2 square into 3 into 13. 3825 as product of prime factors. 3825 can be written as 3 into 1275. 1275 can be written as 3 into 425. 425 can be written as 5 into 85. 85 can be written as 5 into 17. Therefore, 3825 can be expressed as product of primes as follows. 3825 equals 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 17. Equals 3 square into 5 square into 17. 5005 as product of prime factors. 5005 can be written as 5 into 1001. 1001 can be written as 7 into 143. 143 can be written as 11 into 13. Therefore, 5005 can be expressed as product of prime numbers as follows. 5005 equals 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. 7429 is product of prime factors. 7429 can be written as 17 into 437. 437 can be written as 19 into 23. Therefore, 7429 can be expressed as product of primes as follows. 7429 equals 17 into 19 into 23. Let us see an example. Find the LCM and HCF of the following pairs of integers and verify that LCM into HCF equals product of the two numbers. 26 and 91, 510 and 92, 336 and 54. For these problems first we need to find the LCM and HCF then we have to verify whether the product of LCM and HCF that is LCM into HCF is equal to product of the two given numbers. Given integers are 26 and 91. 26 can be factorized as 26 equals 2 into 13 and 91 can be factorized as 91 equals 7 into 13. Now we need to find HCF of 26, 91 which can be found as follows. Therefore HCF of 26, 91 is 13 and now LCM of 26, 91 can be found as follows. Therefore LCM of 26, 91 equals 2 into 7 into 13 equals 182 because 2, 7 and 13 are the greatest powers of the prime factors. We got that HCF of 26, 91 is 13 and LCM 26, 91 is 182. The product of two numbers 26 into 91 equals 2366. The product of HCF of 26, 91 into LCM of 26, 91 equals 13 into 182 equals 2366. We got that. Product of two numbers is equal to 2366, which is also equal to HCF of 
26.91 into LCM of 26.91. Hence, it is verified that the product two numbers is equal to the product of HCF and LCM. 510 and 92. We have 510 can be factorized as 510 equals 2 into 3 into 5 into 17. And 92 can be factorized as 92 equals 2 into 2 into 23. You can find HCF of 510, 92 equals 2 because 2 is the smallest power of the common factor. And LCM of 510, 92 equals 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 17 into 23 equals 23,460 because 22, 3, 5, 17 and 23 are the greatest powers of the prime factors. The product of two numbers 510 to 92 is equal to 46,920. The product of HCF of 510, 92 into LCM of 510, 92 is equal to 2 into 23,460 is equal to 46,920. Hence, the product two numbers is equal to the product of HCF into LCM. 336 and 54. We have 336 can be factorized as 336 equals 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. 336 equals 2 to the power of 4 into 3 into 7. And 54 can be factorized as 54 equals 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. You can find HCF of 336, 54 equals 2 into 3 equals 6. And LCM of 336, 54 equal to 2 to the power of 4 into 3 cube into 7 equal to 3024. The product of two numbers 336 and 54 is equal to 18,144. The product of HCF of 336, 54 into LCM of 336, 54 equal to 6 into 3024 equal to 18,144. Hence, the product two numbers is equal to the product of HCF and LCM.